Here's every major thing Apple announced at WWDC 2016. Apple started off its 27th Worldwide Developers Conference with Watch OS 3. The biggest improvement is faster loading apps. Watch OS 3 also introduces a dock where you can pin your favorite apps. The dock is accessible by clicking the side button on the watch. Watch OS 3 also features handwriting support with its new scribble feature. Draw on the screen in English or Chinese and the watch will understand you. Then it was time for tvOS which powers Apple TV. Apple introduced a new feature called Single Sign-On for all of those television apps that require you to authenticate with your cable or satellite credentials. You sign in once in the new tvOS and you get access to lots of TV apps. There's also a new Apple TV remote app for iOS. It replicates all of the functions found on the Siri-based remote of the fourth generation Apple TV. Apple's desktop operating system got a new name. OS X is now known as Mac OS. The latest version will be called Mac OS Sierra, which will come with Siri. You can search for files or search the web using Siri on Mac OS Sierra. In the demos, Siri was activated by a keyboard or a mouse click. We're not sure if the voice activated Hey Siri mode will be included in the final product. Apple Pay is also coming to the web. If you buy something online, you'll be able to pay using an Apple Watch or using your iPhone with Touch ID. Then Apple spent a lot of time on iOS 10. Siri gets a huge upgrade because it is now open to third-party developers. That means you'll be able to use Siri to make Skype calls or call a car on Lyft or Uber. Apple Music will get an overhaul because mostly it was a mess before. The design features big bold text so you'll actually understand the app. The Photos app will gain facial recognition and object recognition. Apple says your iOS device will figure out all of this information locally, meaning no data is being sent to Apple. Apple also introduced the Home app, which can control all kinds of HomeKit smart home accessories. The idea is one app to control your entire smart home. The Messages app will get a lot more functions that make it more like Snapchat and not so much a glorified SMS messenger. There are bubble effects, so you can send big messages or quiet messages. There are also full screen effects, so when you send a message, you can take over the screen under the chat. Emojis will be three times the size. Messages will be open to developers who can add functions like sending payments right through the app. Watch OS 3, the new tvOS, Mac OS Sierra, and iOS 10 all arrive in the fall. And those are all the major announcements made by Apple at WWDC 16. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and you can keep up with the hottest tech news at cnet.com slash update.